let's look at this question. Each of the five friends, Bala, Charan, Kalyan, Pawan, and Venki, studying in a university, opted for a different course of mathematics, physics, chemistry, economics, and commerce. It is known that the total number of students in the university that enrolled for each of these courses were different. Okay. So we have five friends, five subjects, and the number of students enrolled in each course. Further, it is also known that. And then we have some instructions. So we have three parameters. We have name, we have the subject, and we have the number of enrollments. Okay. Five spots identified for them. Kalan op uh, Kalyan opted for the course which uh, for which the maximum number of students had enrolled and it was not mathematics. So Kalyan, let's say X, and this is the maths, and this is not maths. Okay. Charan opted for chemistry for which a higher number of students had enrolled than for commerce and neither of these courses had the lowest enrollment. So, okay, Charan for chemistry and he had, let's say, Y kids for here and commerce was enrolled for by Z kids and Y is greater than Z and they are greater than the least value. Both of them were greater than the least value. Okay, High, the higher number of kids had enrolled for the course opted for by Pawan than for the course opted for by Charan. Okay, so let's say Pavan opted for a course that had A enrollments and A was greater than Y. A was greater than Y. Now, the only kid left or the two kids left are Bala and Venki. Bala, Venki, Bala, or Venki. One of these kids is going to have commerce and Z. Commerce and Z. So let's say commerce and Z. Now the only subject, the only subject whose enrollment and number does not have a variable assigned to it, I'm putting it B. So this is B. So number of enrollment wise, can you see X is the max. So X has to be highest. This is rank 1, this is rank 2, this is rank 3, this is rank 4, and then this has to be rank 5 in terms of number of enrollments. Rank-wise, this is the working that we have identified. Additionally, uh, among the subjects, we know maths doesn't come here. Chemistry and commerce are used up. Chemistry and commerce are used up. So Kalyan will either have physics or Eco and Pawan and the one remaining out of Bala or Vicky will have physics or eco or maths and physics or eco or maths. This is all the information that we can potentially get from these clues here. Let us get to individual questions. Which of the following courses could not have been opted for by Pawan? Pavan can take physics or economics or maths, but he cannot take commerce so option D. Which of the following statements is definitely true? If Bala opted for economics, okay, Bala is here with economics, then Venki is here with commerce, and Kalyan is here with physics. Then, if Bala opted for economics, Kalyan opted for commerce. No, no, Kalyan has to take between physics and eco somebody. So this is not true. If Pavan opted for mathematics. Pawan has opted for mathematics, then between one of one between Bala and Venki and Kalyan will take physics or eco. Venki opted for economics, not necessary. If Venki opted for physics, if Venki opted for physics, then Kalyan has to take eco and Pawan has to take maths. Okay. If Venki opted for physics, Bala opted for economics. No. If Venki opted for physics, Bala will take. Commerce, this is also not true. If Venki opted for physics, Kalyan opted for economics. Yes, this has to be true because as soon as 
Venki opts for physics, Kalyan will only have economics left as a potential subject for him to take. Okay. Next question. How many different ways could the five students have opted for the five courses? Now, I am looking at this. See, Bala and Venki in these two slots can come in two ways. Then Kalyan can choose his subject in two ways. As soon as Kalyan takes one out of physics or eco, then Pawan and whoever is here can take his subject in two ways, maths and whatever other is left. So two into two into two, two into two into two. There are eight different ways in which we could have five students opted for the five courses. Answer is option A. Last, consider the following statements. Bala opted for a course. The enrollment for which was higher than the course opted for by Venki. See, one of Bala and Venki is going to be uh, in this lowest space and in the topmost space, uh, in this Z and B. So Bala is here, Venki is here. This statement tells me, if I say, this statement tells me Bala is at 4, Venki is at 5 in terms of number of enrollments. First statement meaning is this. Second, the number of students who enrolled for physics was higher than those who enrolled for any other course. So statement two tells me Kalyan takes one or Kalyan takes physics. Okay. Venki opted for commerce. If Venki opted for commerce, if Venki opted for commerce, it would mean Venki takes four and the number more number of students enrolled for economics than for chemistry, which would mean Kalyan takes economics because chemistry is the sorry, sorry, sorry. More number of students enrolled for economics than for chemistry. Above chemistry, we are going to have two, which is PEM. So Economics is not here. So, Kalyan take economics. Okay. So, now, now, which set of Venki opted for commerce? Commerce is four. Okay. Which set of statements given below from among those are sufficient to determine the exact courses opted for by each of the strengths? If I have one and two, if I have 1 and 2 determined here, if I have 1 and 2 only, 1 tells me Bala is here, Venki is here, 2 tells me Kalyan takes physics, but still between uh, Venki and Pawan, I would not be certain, I would not be certain who has taken uh, physics or, sorry, eco or maths between Pawan and Venki, I wouldn't be certain who has taken eco or maths. So one and two together, not enough. Okay. No, 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 no. This is flawed. More number of students enrolled for economics than for chemistry, which means eco could be two or eco could be one. Because chemistry is rank 3, eco could be 2 or eco could be 1. The fourth statement means this. Okay. Now statement 1. Bala is clearly identified. Bala has to be at 4. Venki has to be at 5. So this confusion is taken care of. 2 tells me Kalyan has taken physics. This is done. And now if Kalyan has taken physics, the number of students who applied. And now the fourth statement, more number of students enrolled for economics than for chemistry. Economics would be left here. Physics is already taken here. So if economics is higher than chemistry, economics can only come at slot 2 or the number of enrollments being 2. So these three together will take care of the Bala Venki conundrum. We'll also take care of the physics eco conundrum for Kalyan and also the subject taken by Venki and Pawan because economics would be here. Maths would be here with Venki. So everything which of uh, which set of statements given below from among those that are sufficient to determine the exact courses opted for by each of the five state, five friends, it will be B. For peace of mind, we'll also go ahead and check one and four. Okay. B and, okay, one minute. I will also get rid of this. 
Eco is either two or either one. One tells me Bala Venki conundrum is taken care of. Bala Venki conundrum is taken care of. Four tells me economics has to be higher than chemistry. So economics could be here, economics could be here. And as long as we don't know where precisely economics is, we can't really say we know exact courses for all four or five. So C is also one, one, two, and three. This is a direct uh, violation because statement one says Venki took the fifth subject or the number of enrollments in which was ranked five. And third says Venki took the subject with in enrollment in which was four. So this is a contradiction of each other. So this is also not true. So the correct answer here for this question has to be option B. This is one of those rare questions in which you don't really get the precise distribution at the end and basis of the cases you have to arrive at the answers. Mm -hmm.